So you come back in 95, and I'm, I'm interested to know where you are as a group. You know, you're thinking that we got to – this has got to happen. Yeah, 95, uh, pretty much still the same team. I forget who we might have added, but the young players are starting to come. I just remember Maddox being unbelievably – Filthy good that year, and now we take on the greatest offensive team, I think, in World Series, maybe history, the Cleveland Indians. Yeah, and I mean, you're talking about Tome, Vizquel, Manny Ramirez, yeah. Albert Bell. I mean, these are names. Lofton, are... they were loaded by Erga. They had Travis Fryman, I think, was. I, it, it was think unbelievable. About that. I mean, that, that lineup, there wasn't, there wasn't an out in there. Yeah. You know, there's no give up in any, in any spot in that lineup. What's interesting about that is, is, 95 was the worst World Series game I've ever pitched. It, it's so ironic that all these years you're lights out and you're pitching shutouts yeah. and game sevens and all that. And of all the years and all these postseasons, 95 is the one postseason where you're yeah. okay. It was really cold. I know my parents were second row to the top. It was freezing. And it was when I was starting to realize I had another problem besides my physical injuries. I couldn't feel the ball when it got cold. And um, I told Bobby, after one inning, I said, Bobby, I can't throw a split. I can't throw a slider. I'm pitching with a cue ball. That's what it felt like. And I said, I, I, I lasted an inning in two-thirds. And it was just no chance for success. The irony about that is I was in position to pitch another game seven. And I was so ready, despite the failed previous start, the chanting was starting to be, if we beat Glavin, Smolt, we got Smoltz. Looked like this. Bayerga is 0 for 3. <laughs> Left center field. Grissom on the run. The team of the 90s has its world championship. And nobody understands what this team has been through. I mean, the, the media uh, attention. The media tortures, and you know everybody tried for so long to pry in, break up, break up, and we came through. And uh, now we can be considered one of the best teams. It's just not fair when you're in a World Series, you're either a choker or a champion. Uh, I don't understand that. So they can say all they want now about who's a postseason player and who isn't. We got a World Championship under our belt. So there it is. It happened. It did. How'd that feel? This won't surprise you. I mean, it felt great, but this won't surprise you what, what I did after we won it. Maddox and I went bowling like the next day. What? We weren't even thinking. We didn't even think what, what chaos we had created at the bowling alley. And for the record, he did not put his fingers in the holes and bowled a 275. Greg Maddox bowled a 275 without putting his fingers yeah, in. I was trying to figure out if that was legit or not, if it was against the rules. And I guess there's no rules saying you have to put your fingers in there. <laughs> but yeah, we went bowling. We, we, were, we were so. What does that say about you? I should have been Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumber. I, I should have been. 